I feel very powerless at the moment. For the past seven years, with her husband at work, Ari Suenaga spends her day doing the dishes, cleaning, laundry, and taking care of their daughters. Right now, I'm the main person to do that. But for Suenaga, a college-educated woman who worked nearly nine years in finance, spending her days like this wasn't her dream. I feel, um, how should I say, very useless. She planned to return to work after having kids. But during the interview process, Suenaga says she quickly realized that for women in Japan, the choice to have kids essentially means the end of your career. They would ask about, again, like, how would you take care of your kids? Do they get um, fevers once in a while? Or what would you do then? Do you have a, a babysitter? Questions, she says, that would never be asked of men. Well, I was really shocked. It's a choice, career or family, that many Japanese women are confronted with at some point in their lives. I'm worried what is going to happen in the future, especially when I get married or when I have a child. Working is essential for me. I don't want to give up. That's why I could not make up my mind and get married. Um, uh, Yumiko Murakami, the head of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development in Tokyo, says the underlying problem is decision makers afraid of change. But when it comes to the mindset of people, um, I think it is still very much last century. Murakami says women aren't given the same level of opportunity and responsibility and therefore aren't getting paid as much as men. Experts believe that Japan could add an estimated $550 billion a year to its GDP just by paying women as much as men. Men take home almost 25% more than female colleagues. A major reason is the jobs that women are expected to do. 70% of housework in Japan is done by women, meaning far less time to advance their careers. In business, only 15% of senior and leadership positions are held by women. Instead, studies show that the main careers open to women are in traditional roles, such as education and nursing. If you're not really understanding why diversity is important for your business, for your country, um, you probably don't understand why our country is not having a lot of innovations. Yeah, we did. Innovation that could come from people like Suenaga. Instead, she spends her days taking care of her family and left feeling that the system is punishing women like her for wanting to be a mom and have a career. If I can't choose multiple choices, if I only have to choose one, I think I would choose my, my kids. A choice she doesn't regret, but one that she hopes her daughters will never have to make. I would definitely want them to have uh, more choices than myself.